<clears throat> okay, guys, we are now on part two. So you guys can see that I went in and I did some more bling mesh. And what I did is I didn't want it so shiny. So I did, um, again, spray it with spray adhesive and then put some of the glamour dust uh, around the metal. So you could not tell that it was silver, that you could not tell that it was a candy dish. These two pieces actually connect. It's a candy dish with a, um, oh, the platter. Um, but again, you'll see the roses, the roses that I handmade with polymer, and they were made on stick pins, and then the flowers that my husband pay, uh, picked from the Quesanera birthday um, section at um, Michael's. And then again, you'll see more um, little bling. I put bling all the way around the terrarium. And if you look underneath, I did put birthday princess all the way around. Now, where the two connect, I did put, get this, I actually put a pearl necklace, a glass pearl necklace, all the way around it with my husband's help. He helped me do that. He helped me do the wheels. Of course, he's not into the girly stuff, so he left that all to me. But um, it does have a, and you can see the gap right there. Um, and that was a perfect glass necklace that I, I spent like a couple of bucks on um, on eBay. Um, the terranium, if you guys really want to know how much it costs to make this, uh, the terranium alone was about 40 bucks. Because um, it took me weeks. Because I, let me tell you something, go looking for something that looks like a pumpkin. We searched and searched and searched for two or three weeks. And this was the best that I can come up with. And um, it was, yeah, it was like 40 bucks, 40 some dollars. And then the wheels were like 35 for a double set. Um, you had to go bigger because Cinderella's carriage is actually bigger. Um, yes, we've seen it. We had our picture taken in front of the real one at Disney on our anniversary. And it's not what you think it is. But anyway, my battery's showing that's going to be dying. So I want to see if I can get up in there. But if you look up in there... You can see how it all crosses over, and you can see where I have a bling right up in the middle, and then I have this beautiful um, <coughs> ribbon, <laughs> iridescent ribbon. I do believe that Natalia gave me that ribbon. Um, I'm pretty sure Natalia gave me that ribbon in a swap, um, but you'll you'll you won't see anything else yet. You'll see some of the flowers and around the top that I did, and it's kind of cool how you can see the whole look in here. And I wanted to show that because I wanted to show real quick what was underneath and you can see where I put some of Lucinda's pretty little flowers in there and I put some glamour dust in there uh, shimmer glamour dust that's uh, um, the fairy dust so I originally was going to put in 16 pence of $16 of gold coins but I only found 13 I don't know where my kids I don't know who's taking off with my money um, so you get back up and let's see if I can stand up on one foot here because it's not easy um, it's pretty much the same all the way around except I have a little different here on this side, uh, and again, you'll see little um, um, arr, stuff that I cut apart. You guys know what I'm talking about. I, I, I buy the stuff and I cut it apart, and I put it all throughout. It's just so pretty. This is my ultimate masterpiece. This, to me, in my mind, is bigger and better and more badass than the toolbox. Um, and you'll see where I kind of put breaks on this side with these beads. These are like the, um, the same beads here. But I used them for breaks on one side. Um, technically, if you've ever really seen Cinderella's carriage, it only literally sits two people. Um, so, and it's not what you would think like in the movies. Uh, or the, um, yeah, in the movies it's, it's portrayed to be this big badass thing. And it's big and it's badass, but it isn't what you think it is. It, it's more prettier on, in cartoons and stuff. But again, that's not reality. But, here is one of my favorite pieces at the top. Um, this is those, um, you know, Gidgets and Gadgets, um, jewelry, um, and miscellaneous, um, steampunk stuff that you'll find in the jewelry section. It's actually two charms that were two crowns, and you can't see the bottom part of the crown. Um, but I, I glued them together with the goop, G-O-O-P, and then I added just a little bit of hot glue to hold it uh, for that quick hold. Um, uh, but I filled it full of glitter glue. Or not glitter glue. I filled it full of hot glue and then put the glamour dust in it to look like one of those uh, pillow top crowns. And then I put these gems, of course, all the way around in blue and white. And then the flowers all the way around. And I put some of the um, um, string mesh, no string mesh, string, string beads. You guys, I just can't think. It's late. Um, anyway, so then I put an extra gem at the top. And you can see where it already had a crystal here. And uh, right here in the middle here. And then I added the gem here and special extra glue, not hot glue. I had to use the goop a lot, but uh, hot 